Hi, I'm Esther Lee, the Senior Product Manager for the AI Language Services Group at AWS. And I'm excited to be presenting today with our esteemed customer, Patrick Carroll, who's the Senior Director of Development at NASCAR. Together, we'll be sharing how Amazon Transcribe can be used to make content searchable and accessible, increase user engagement, and unlock new revenue streams. In this session, you will learn why there's a need for AI in the media and entertainment space. We'll show how Amazon Transcribe can fulfill that need and what the top use cases are for Transcribe in the media and entertainment sector. I'll then walk you through a demo of how to use Amazon Transcribe, and then I'll pass it over to Patrick Carroll, who share, share how they are using Transcribe over at NASCAR. Then finally, we'll wrap up with some ways to get you started with Amazon Transcribe. I'll share some GitHub resources and next steps to consider. All around us, we are surrounded with TV shows, movies, podcasts, and user-generated content. Audio and video content is being created and stored at an exponential rate. But there is a lot of value being locked inside those files. First, what is the content and context of the file? How can you easily tag, index, and catalog the content for future search requests? Second, how can you manage your protection process to easily customize your content and reach a diverse audience that might speak multiple languages and increase accessibility for those who are hard of hearing? And lastly, how can you monetize this rich content? Is there a way to show engaging ads that fit the interests of your users? Data in audio video form is virtually impossible even for computers to search and analyze. It needs to be converted to text to perform other downstream tasks like adding metadata, creating subtitles, and translating it to other languages. You can unlock the value with transcription with uh, with transcription. You can unlock the value in your audio video content with transcription, but traditional transcription methods are manual, tough to scale, slow and expensive. Therefore, all the value remains trapped inside. Other ASR services do exist, but many of them are hard to use, requiring data science knowledge or machine learning expertise. Still others offer limited accuracy and transcription speeds or lack the ability to easily customize the text output for your specific business needs. Amazon Transcribe can help to unlock the value trapped in your content and solve these problems. It is an automatic speech to text, speech -to -text AI service that uses deep learning for speech recognition. It's a fully managed and continuously trained service that enables you to focus on your business. Let us do the heavy lifting in building and maintaining state-of-the-art speech recognition models for you. Transcribe also replaces the costly process of manual transcription with highly accurate and efficient process that scales with your needs. All you have to do is submit your audio to the service and get text in return. No prior machine learning knowledge is required. Just send your audio, get text. It's that simple. In addition to your on-demand content, we know that increasing the accessibility and value of your live streaming content is just as important. That means low latency is a must, and we strive to make this automatic transcription process easy and fast for you. In addition, you can benefit from Amazon Transcribe with lower costs by automatic automating the manually intensive transcription process and save on both time and money. For example, it can take roughly six weeks and cost thousands of dollars to localize one 90-minute movie title manually. This is not scalable. With Amazon Transcribe and a machine translation service like Amazon Translate, you could do the same at a fraction of the cost and in less than an hour. With Transcribe, you can also increase user engagement by making your offering more sticky with subtitles, removing offensive language, and translating content at scale. Transcribe also lets you drive revenues by understanding the content quickly and delivering personalized recommendations and targeted ads that yield higher conversions. Today, Amazon Transcribe is available in more than 20 AWS regions and supports transcriptions in over 30 languages and accents. 
It also has a re rich feature set that helps you produce accurate and easy to read and review transcripts. All of our transcripts are complete with punctuation, capitalization, number normalization, and speaker or channel labeling. That makes the output ready for captioning and subtitling. Transcribe also provides timestamps for every word so you can align the text accurately with the audio for subtitling, search use cases, highlight generation, or to just simply review the transcript. Our transcripts also provide word level confidence scores to help you identify lower confidence terms to send for human in the loop review. We also offer automatic language ID, which eliminates the manual process of identifying and labeling your content's dominant language. Amazon Transcribe also has features that allow you to boost accuracy rates by customizing our transcripts for words unique to your business. With custom vocabulary, with the custom vocabulary feature, you can quickly teach Transcribe to recognize words that are specific to your use case context or domains such as product names. You can also teach custom pronunciations or specify how acronyms like AWS should be output as text. You can further improve accuracy by augmenting the transcribe language model with training data that you provide to create a custom language model or CLM. Using CLM is easy because it capitalizes on existing data that you already possess, such as marketing assets, website content, and instruction manuals. Transcribe also provides up to 10 alternative transcriptions for each sentence. That enables you to quickly choose the best option that applies to your content and domain. This is really helpful for human in the loop subtitling workflows. We also prioritize user privacy and safety with features like vocabulary filtering and redaction of personally identifiable information like names and social security numbers. When transcribing audio, you can instruct Transcribe to automatically mask, remove, or tag specific terms from the output transcripts based on a vocabulary that you specify. For example, you can use our vocabulary filter to automatically remove profane words from the transcription results for content moderation. You will no longer need to manually scrub for inappropriate content. There are four common use cases for Amazon Transcribe in the media and entertainment space. Transcribe's first main use case is search and discovery. Transcribe enables you to automatically create a rich metadata index of spoken words to enable your users to easily search and find the content they're looking for. You can also use the metadata to deliver personalized recommendations based on your user's search history and viewing behavior. This metadata can also help you efficiently generate short clips or highlights from multiple sources for your audience. The second use case is around subtitling and localization. Amazon Transcribe helps content producers and media distributors improve reach and accessibility by automatically generating timestamp subtitles that can be displayed along with the video content. This boosts user engagement and helps you address accessibility requirements. Our transcriptions also help streamline the content translation and localization process to help you re reach a wider audience faster and further increase user stickiness. Research has shown that localized videos actually increase the minutes watched by 15%. The next use case is around content monetization. With Amazon Transcribe, you can quickly understand and label your content based on metadata and user preferences to automatically generate ad inventories. This deeper knowledge around the content gives you the ability to show more relevant ads and optimize ad placement for maximum impact and personalization. Having more natural ad placements leads to higher conversion rates, increased revenues, and a less disruptive user experience. Lastly, Amazon Transcribe can be used for content moderation and compliance. You can set it to detect potentially inappropriate content based on age, culture, or demographics. You can also utilize our features to adhere to compliance standards and increase brand safety for advertisers. 
To demo how Amazon Transcribe works, we'll be using our Media Insights Engine, or MIE for short. This is a serverless media processing framework that is purpose-built for audio and video content. It reduces your time wrestling with low-level APIs and orchestrating pipelines to give you more time to develop the applications to fit your specific use case. MIE combines transcribes speech recognition capabilities with other AI services. Simply put your audio and video files into an S3 bucket. This will then trigger a Lambda function to process it with a variety of AWS AI services, such as Amazon Transcribe for audio transcription, Amazon Recognition for image recognition and visual metadata, Amazon Translate for language translation, and Amazon Comprehend for key phrase and entity detection. All this information can be used to create a rich metadata index in, in Ela Amazon Elasticsearch. From there, you can use it for your specific use cases such as search and discovery or subtitling and localization. Now, let's see how it works. The Media Insights Engine, or MIE, is a development framework for building serverless applications that process video, images, audio, and text on AWS. Now, this is all publicly available online in the AWS Labs GitHub repository. Now you can upload your own videos into the solution, and you can see some are here already of Andy Jassy at his reInvent 2019 keynote speech. We don't have much time to go into the search feature in detail, but you can actually search for anything that the solution has tagged in any way. So for instance, as well as Andy Jassy, we can see that Dr. Matt Wood would have made an appearance in one of the videos around Amazon Kendra. Now to get videos in, you just use the upload feature and drag and drop your video files into this dialog box. But you can also configure the various options that are going to be applied in the processing steps whilst you're here. So here you can see many options, and these allow you to configure many, many different features from Amazon Recognition, Amazon Transcribe, Amazon Comprehend, and also Amazon Translate. Now, understandably, all of this processing does take a little time. So due to the time constraints of the demo, we will use some pre-processed videos where we selected some of the available options. We have a number to choose from from here. But let's look at the very first one, Fargate for Kubernetes, by clicking on Analyze. Now here you can see the ML vision and language artifacts that the MIE solution has found during its analysis. It also automatically shows you the video and begins to play back, which I will now pause. So let's quickly walk through some of the vision results for the options that we enabled. Starting with celebrities, it has identified Andy Jassy as the only celebrity in the video, which is correct. Now clicking on his name, actually changes the timeline markers. And you can see clearly where he appears on screen in the foreground, as opposed to when he's actually in the background and less recognizable in the widescreen shots. If you go to word detection, it's actually picking up on the text that is behind Andy on the various displays. So if you select one at random, like direct connect, and move the playhead to that location, you can actually see where the words are behind him, just up here on the top right. So the ME solution does not just handle the language, it can identify people and the words that are visible in the video, adding the extra dimension to what you can actually search for. The words in that person's environment can now be searched for, not just the words that they say. So moving to the speech side, we can quickly see the actual video transcript as a whole, but what's actually gonna be more useful here is the subtitles. So as Amazon Transcribe generates timestamps per word, MIE, can generate subtitle tracks that can be exported in the industry standard VTT format. So clicking on any one of these uh, line entries will actually move the playhead to that point. So let's move to 11 seconds, uh, turn on the sound and press play. So now our Kubernetes customers are able to get all the same serverless benefits of running containers in AWS. And so we Server list at W. -s what is this? And it clearly says serverless and AWS. The problem here can be one of many different things. Perhaps there's some noise artifact on the audio. Perhaps he has unusually mispronounced something. But the explanation is usually quite straightforward. In this case, transcribe had a slight gap between server and less. So transcribe that is two words. Also, it correctly hears the three letters A, W, and S, but hadn't realized that in this context, this actually was the acronym AWS. So this is where we use custom vocabularies. 
This is where you provide transcribe with pronunciation hints, either as language sounds or via the phonetic alphabet, and also tell it how to handle acronyms. So let's do these two by editing them in situ. Let's replace these letters with a WS and replace the serverless with the word that we actually want and click on Save Vocabulary. So we can now create a vocabulary by editing these files and putting in all the information that we actually need to make it work. Now, AWS was heard correctly, but uh, Transcribe didn't understand that it was an acronym. By making this slight change here, you can actually make it understand that when we see these three letters in sequence, it is a single acronym to dis display it as AWS. Now, serverless is slightly different. We actually have to give it a few hints here on how this word will actually be pronounced. So we tell it that when you hear a phrase that sounds a bit like this, that actually you should display it as a single word, serverless. So let's go back to our collections and open up the Redshift video. Now this has similar issues to the previous one. There are some acronyms, especially SSD, that are not always correctly handled, but some words are actually wrong. So let's go straight to the subtitle track and search for Postgres, which doesn't come up, but Post does. So in this line, we can see that Postgres has been mistranscribed. So if that's easy, we can just edit that in situ like before and go and save the vocabulary. But this time, there's a few different changes to make. Firstly, Postgres is often pronounced as two distinct words, therefore, to give transcribe the hint that it may happen like this, uh, we put this dash between the two, so it will also show that there could be a gap. And rather than using sounds like, we're going to use IPA, which I have to copy from elsewhere because it is actually difficult to type on a normal keyboard. So what IPA does, it lets you define the way in which a word is actually pronounced. This is because different letters take on different sounds depending on their context. And if you need to be really precise with pronunciation, then IPA will be better than the normal syllable sounds, but it is a little bit more work. Now I won't save actually any of these because as you may have noticed, I've already got a custom vocab called MAE Demo Reinvent 2020, and I've already run this and the previous video back through it. So let's go and see what happened. So let's look at the Fargate video first. This time the one that has actually gone through the custom vocabulary. Now we'll head straight to the subtitles because if you recall, the text we we're looking at was at the 11 second mark or so. And if you look here, quite obviously the serverless line has been correctly transcribed as has AWS. Uh, and so through the rest of this file, uh, you, you'll find that AWS and serverless and other words I put in such as EKS and ECS are being transcribed correctly and consistently. And this time let's go across with Redshift and check there the same thing that we actually have got Postgres uh, correctly transcribed. And there it is. So using the IPA, it correctly worked out that phrase and got it on screen correctly. Now, I hope that gives you an insight into some of the machine learning based capabilities that the Media Insight engine actually has, all of which are available to your own applications. And there are many other features we haven't had time to cover, of course, such as the auto translation of transcripts to languages of your choosing, which you can see on screen right now in Spanish, and also the ability to have automatic content filtering via your own word redaction lists. And now, back to the main presentation. As you saw in the demo, there are some cases where human review is beneficial to ensure transcription accuracy. Amazon Augmented AI or Amazon A2I can provide built-in human review or human-in-the-loop workflows for low-confidence transcriptions. You can use it to help generate a list of domain-specific terms, which can then be used to expand Transcribe's custom vocabulary list. This then can feed into the transcription process and be used to further improve the recognition of certain terminology or pronunciations. Now, I'll pass it over to Patrick Carroll. He'll share how NASCAR uses Amazon Transcribe as part of their content creation and user engagement strategy. Over to you, Patrick. Thanks so much, Esther. Hi, everybody. My name is Patrick Carroll, and I am the Senior Director of Web Development here at NASCAR Digital Media. And just before jumping into NASCAR and Transcribe, I wanted to talk a little bit about what NASCAR is for those who may not be super familiar. So NASCAR is super international in scope, crossing six continents, 29 languages, 
in over 195 countries and across 475 million households. So we sanction more than 1,200 races in over 30 U.S. states across Canada, Mexico, and Europe, and offer multilingual support for users across multiple different countries. So each month, our editorial team uploads hundreds of short form videos to our web CMS. And that content covers everything from race highlights to race previews to our eSports uh, iRacing series to NASCAR history. And we needed a tool that allowed that, captioning, that content to be captioned on upload automatically. We also needed a tool to support multi-language captioning as well as live captioning for our live broadcast content. As part of our evaluation process, we looked at both the option of using a vendor solution as well as building something in-house. We were looking for something that gave us a lot of control of the system and flexibility, as well as being able to manage the costs. We decided to use Amazon Transcribe, finding it to be extremely accurate, cost-effective, and really flexible, finding it really easy to integrate with our current web CMS, allowing our editorial team to, to maintain their same workflow while having all of the video content captioned. We also found Amazon Transcribe to be really cost effective versus some of the vendor solutions that we looked at. So as I mentioned, with our workflow, our editorial team would upload videos into the CMS. And from there, we wanted to be able to integrate Transcribe to caption that content. So once the video got uploaded, we were able to use Amazon's custom vocab and vocab filtering, as well as applying our own find and replace to allow some extra control for our editorial team to curate a list of words that they could transform words between one to another. So a very high level overview of our process from start to finish. The editorial team would upload a video, as I mentioned, into the CMS. From there, we would take that video file and upload it directly to Amazon S3, kicking off a Lambda event, which would use Media Convert to extract the audio version of that file, passing it into Amazon Transcribe, along with the vocabulary filtering and custom vocab. And from there, Amazon would return a JSON file of the caption content, which we would then use one more Lambda event to trigger and create a VTT file from the JSON that our web player would use to display captions. And lastly, we would just do a little bit of cleanup, which allowed us to remove some files that are unnecessary at the end of the job, such as the output of JSON file, we were using the VTT file, so that was unneeded, and the audio file that we created to pass into Transcribe. So at all projects, we learned some lessons and we had some post-launch requests for improvements. And some of those were, once we launched, we realized quickly that we had a two gigabyte file size with Amazon Transcribe that we never hit in our testing or POC phases. So we found in our logs, a couple of videos would have no captions attached to them and found quickly that we were hitting the file limitation. That's when we brought in Media Convert to extract the audio only version of the file, allowing us not only to use larger files, but getting back the results from Transcribe quicker to our video content. Some of the other customizations we added were post-launch, such as the find and replace, which just gave our editorial team a little bit more ability to layer in our own functionality on top of what Transcribe offered which was extremely important for us to be able to do as we went down the road with, with a captioning tool. On the right-hand side, um, you can see that we also added in a human review portion for Transcribe. So this allowed us to go line by line and have an editorial team member watch the video and watch the transcriptions that were placed on the video and edit as necessary to be able to make sure that our accuracy was as high as possible. So next, I'm quickly going to show you a video on our website, which has a caption file applied to it, so our users can turn it on and have the video with captions. Talladega is what makes Talladega. Ooh, uh, choose the lead anytime I can. I prefer being the pusher. Wait a bit later, I think you want to be the person pushing because inevitably that person's going to wreck. And when they do, you just kind of drive by and be like, sorry. It's my teammate on the last lap, Talladega. I um, want to be getting pushed. Anyone else, I probably want to push. There's times in the race where you'll have to push to get up to the front. And then there's times that you put yourself in, in the spot where someone needs to push you to move forward. I just would... 
personally rather be leading. Most of the time, it's the safest place to be as well. I say that, but don't look at my record on Super Speedway lately. <laughs> There's no saying that uh, we won't be able to be the guy out front this time around. There's no a better product than a wild race at Talladega. So for our transcribe roadmap, we wanted to add a couple of new features that will come at a later date. Some of those features are multi-language captions on single sites. Today we run single language, single site. So on NASCAR.com, seeing as all of our content is in English, our captions are only available in English. And on latino.nascar.com, all of the content is in Spanish. So the captions are Spanish. We do want to add a feature to allow multi-language on those sites to be an option for our users. We're also getting ready to look into Transcribe's custom language models to further improve the accuracy for the outputs, which will reduce the editorial team's need to manually review, which will still happen, but hopefully with the custom models, we'll, be, we'll have less work on our end to do. And lastly, as I mentioned in the beginning, we want to add in real-time captioning for our live content, and that will be coming shortly. So as I mentioned, we did select Transcribe, and since implementing Transcribe into our workflow, 99% of our content contains captions across all of our websites. And we estimate that about 97% cost savings have been saved through using Transcribe versus some of the initial vendor evaluations we went through. And with that, thank you guys so much for your time, and I will pass it over to Esther. Thanks so much, Patrick. I really appreciate you taking the time to share your story with us. To wrap up, Amazon Transcribe is a powerful speech-to-text service that uses machine learning to accurately and cost-efficiently help you unlock the value of your audio and video assets. The easiest way to get started is to simply sign into the Amazon console and start transcribing your content. If you want to go a step deeper, here's a list of AWS open source solutions that use Amazon Transcribe and other AWS AI services. This list includes the Media Insight Engine that you saw earlier in the demo for media search and discovery, subtitling, and localization. We also have a subtitling and media content analysis solution for live streaming content. You can find all of these in the AWS GitHub repositories. You can also work with any of our AWS media intelligence partners. This is a great group of folks who can um, include ISVs as well as SIs, and they can help you define and build the necessary integrations to your in-house systems. They can help you figure out service migrations or conduct design reviews and just get you on the path to production. In addition to our partner network, you can also engage with an AWS solution architect, our machine, learnings, machine learning solutions lab, or professional services team. And they can help you build a POC with Amazon Transcribe. You can also register for a variety of workshops or certification courses that are based on the same material that we use to train our own developers. For more information, check out the additional resources listed as a part of this session. Thanks for taking the time to learn how you can efficiently transcribe your spoken data, better analyze your multimedia content and lower production costs with Amazon Transcribe. Click on the link below to complete the survey session and we'd love your feedback. Thanks again.